Namaste. Welcome in a first day of Strong as Yogi challenge in September. So today we're gonna work on our abs and on our core and we're gonna focus maybe you think on a physical strength but this exercise will also build your inner strength. So this sequence will prepare you for the maybe more intermediate asanas later. So because we will strengthen this core and abs, we will build the heat here. It will help you when you will be working on your inversion, arm balances and all intensive asana. But remember the yoga is not only about asana, it's mostly about your conscious. So please be conscious and be good for yourself. Don't push yourself too hard. Be gentle with yourself and remember where it's a, when you're feeling that it's too much and you need to rest, please rest and take care of yourself. So with this said, let's begin on the mat. We start in a sitting pose and let's straight our arms up to the sky, straight your back and you can look to the right and to the left. A few twists. Today will be quite dynamic, so we are not losing time. Staying in the center, interlocking the fingers and squeezing the abs inside. Sitting cat cow stretch, then interlock behind your back and open the chest to the front. Few more breaths. Now you can make a bigger space with your legs and going with them a little bit farther away from your butt cheek. Once again, opening the chest and slowly going a little bit down. Maybe you're gonna stay here. Maybe you're gonna be a little bit closer to the ground. Maybe your forehead will touch the ground. And staying a few more minutes. No, no, a few more breaths. Remember to breathe with your nose, deep inhale and exhale and slowly come back up. Okay, great. Let's place our palms on the mat to the tabletop and let's do few circles with our body. So you can also slightly bend your elbows and just warming up, stretching, sliding front side, back, the other side and again. And now change direction. To the other direction we are rolling our body feeling. Maybe you want to close your eyes in this one. Okay, enough. Now we're gonna warm up our wrist. So please turn your palms to the side so the, the fingers are facing the side. And we rock from the left to the right and we change your wave from right to the left. The arms are straight all the time. Warming up. Great. Now let's turn them so the fingers are facing your knees and slowly sitting back. Stretching, super stretch in your wrist. Coming back to the front and to the back. One more time. To the front and to the back. Okay, great. Staying in the center 
walking the palms to the normal position, tucking the toes and press to the down dog. Walk the down dog from the one feet to another. One heel goes down and the other goes down. Feel the stretch in the back of your legs. Deep inhale and exhale. Stay in the center. Maybe the heels will be closer to the ground. We press super strong with your arms to the ground. Even if these exercises will be hard for you. And today remember, if you're going to be trying, practicing regularly these ones, with time they will be coming more possible and they will be coming easier. So just do as much as you can. Great. Now looking in front, bending the knees and sitting low on your, with your hips on your knees and walking to the front. Halfway lift, straight back looking in front of you and exhale down forward fold. Now you can grab your shoulders and stretch from the right and to the left. This is our warm-up to the core and the abs exercises. <laughs> so enjoy a few more breaths. Staying in the center. Okay, relaxing the palms and inhale up, rising up, stretching to the sky. Great. Exhale, palms down. And let's the party begin. So Inhale up, sitting in a chair pose. Squeeze your abs inside, the arms extended to the sky and sitting low. The knees are together. Okay, three, two, lower, and one. Place the palms together and twist to the left side. Open the chest to the front and look to the sky. Pressing strongly with our palms together. And now I want you to move your right leg to the back of the mat and opening more chest. Side twist, right. Placing the right hand to the mat, opening the left one to the sky. And now transition to the high plank. The back heels is not on the ground, but it's higher. Squeeze the abs. Great. And transition to the warrior two. Open the hip to the side. Look in front, looking on your middle finger. Maybe sitting a little lower. And straightening the leg. Moving to the front and jumping back down. Inhale, chair pose. Beautiful. Staying, sitting low. The abs squeeze inside. Three, two, one. Placing the palms together and twisting to the right side. Opening the palms together. And now slowly moving the left leg to the back. 
opening the chest more. Such a beautiful sun is coming to us as we hit our inner sun too. Right. And now transition to the high plank. Stretching to the sky and open to the warrior too. Looking to your middle finger, the heels are in a one line. Looking to your middle finger in front. Great. And jumping back to the front. Inhale up and exhale, bending the knees, going back down. Halfway lift, straight back. Exhale, placing the palms together and walking to the plank pose. And when you read core, you already know that this will be on for sure. <laughs> so let's check your plank pose. See if your hips are not too high and not too low, but you want to engage them and be really straight in your plank, pushing hard with your palms from the mat. Great. Coming to the down dog. And now we're going to rise your right leg and bending this leg, coming to the plank, to the Spider-Man plank, placing it on your right elbow and staying. One, two, three, four, and five. Rising it back to the one-legged dog. And now bending this knee and coming to the center, to the middle of your chest. Staying one, two, three, four. Strongly pushing, four and five. Breathe, <laughs> rest, and one more time, bending the knee and coming to your left elbow, as close as you can. One, two, three, four, and five, pressing it back to the one like a dog and placing the leg back to the mat. And walk to the puppy pose. Maybe you're gonna place your forehead on a mat, the butt cheek stays up, or maybe you're gonna place your chest and the chin to the mat. Relaxing before next part. Okay, rising up back, plank pose, stretching to the down dog, rising the left leg up, mm, such a nice sun. And now bending the knee, coming to the left knee, Spider-Man plank, staying one, two, three, four, and five. Pressing it back to the one-legged dog. Breathe and coming to the middle. One, two, three. The leg, the knee is super close to the chest. Three, four and five pressing it back to the down dog 
debrief preparing for the last part of this one and coming close to your right elbow one two three four closer and five pressing it back to the down dog placing the feet to the mat placing the knees to the mat stretching to the child pose relaxing a little bit you can shake or roll you can roll your fingers find your breathe and building the strength for the next pose okay meet me in a down dog and rise your right leg up bending it close to the chest and then without putting it on the floor we're gonna turn to the side plank stretching the abs from the mat opening the left leg to the sky the left arm and maybe you're gonna straight your right leg to the front staying here three two one bending and coming back to the down dog great coming back down with your leg rising the left one bending close to the chest and we transition to the side plank the leg is first bended opening the right hand pushing away from the mat and maybe extending the leg holding one two and three beautiful <laughs> coming back to the down dog placing the feet back resting with your knees shaking the hand and coming back down dog bending the knees jumping to the front and sitting low on the mat great now my favorite pose to work on abs and core strength with yoga asana is going to be the boat pose i will prepare you for modification so no worry just pick your option and the first one is when your palms are staying with like maybe even more just your fingers on the mat and you're gonna place the knees here the second one will be like here with the knees bended and the arms extended straight from the mat and the third one if you want to do with me the most advanced will be with the legs straight so you can start with something easier actually and maybe with the next week you will progress to the more advanced option okay we're gonna do this three times for a uh, 10 breaths when you're ready hope you are going up to the boat pressing the legs close to your chest the chest is pressing to the front opening one two three four five six seven find your strength keep it eight nine 
and 10. Slowly come back, hug your knees, relax the head and the abs, of course. And now we're going to do two more times. So breathe and up the legs high. One, two, chest pressing up. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, shaking, nine, ten, relax, hug the knees, only one more time, great, great job. <sighs> Breathe and let's do it, up, one. Three, four, five, six, seven, keep it, keep it, find your strength, eight, chest open, nine, shaking, ten, release, now you can straight your leg and just forward fold <sighs> great you deserve it so you can lay down but we are not totally done with the work <laughs> okay so lying down totally with your back to the mat Take a few breaths and we're gonna do the hollow body. Yes, I know <laughs> it's not my favorite too, but it's it's the best exercise, especially if you thinking that maybe you will want to do handstand someday. So it's for sure worth it. So squeezing your feet together, your legs together, knees together and your arms extended behind your head, above your head. What we're gonna do? We're gonna rise our chest up and our legs. And we're gonna be staying in this. This is the hollow position for a few breaths, but Please make sure that when you're in a hollow body, your lower back is super touchy to the mat. This is this feeling you want to achieve. If you're not doing this and you're arching, it's not working. So maybe first you will bend your knees and just staying like this in a hollow position. But th this is going to help you with really touching the mat with the lower back. And then maybe you're gonna extend more and more your legs. So we work on this movement. Okay. The hollow body. <sighs> breathe in, breathe out, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, relax. Okay, good. Now we're gonna transition from the hollow body to the sitting pose. So from this, we're gonna sit up. If you cannot do it, modification, maybe from here or maybe just little crunch okay ready 
hollow body sitting one hollow body two three four five six only four more seven eight two more nine and last one ten yes good staying here squeezing the knees close and slowly coming back to the lying down pressing the right knee close to your chest amazing great great job we are done with our core and abs work and now just we're gonna relax and stretch so extend the right leg to the right side and coming with the right knee to the left side twisting in your spine great for releasing for relaxing you can close your eyes look to the right side the shoulders trying to sinking to the mat and slowly coming back to the center changing the side oh the sun is now amazing i hope you also feel the sun maybe not on the sky but maybe you feel it in your mind now opening the left arm placing the knee to the right side and opening to the left one twisting this work was amazing you did a great job you can be proud of yourself or of trying your best coming back to the center and opening to the shavasana pose you can relax in this position as long as you want if you feel any tension in your body embrace it feel it and then focus on this point so you're gonna imagine you are breathing with this point in your body and when you inhale you bring in the good energy and when you exhale you are releasing letting go this pain letting go of the tension every time you breathe stay as long as you want in the shavasana this is your time when you will be ready slowly start moving with your feet your hands and then sitting back to the mat please remember to take care of yourself after you are done with this video this is what we are doing on the mat it's the beginning of your strength and then you need to show up for yourself in your daily life in your daily habits you need to show up for others too so you can share your strength with others thank you so much 
eat healthy, sleep well, and I see you tomorrow. Thank you. Namaste.